Now we're going to talk about setting up WordPress Bakery for your bridge site. So if you installed and activated the bridge theme, once you navigate to plugins in your admin panel, you're going to see a notice at the top that tells you about plugins that are required for the bridge theme. And here it says WordPress Bakery Visual Composer. So I'm going to click on Begin Installing Plugins. And next to WordPress Bakery, I'm going to click on Install. And now it says plugin installed successfully. So let's return to the plugins installer. Now I'm going to click on activate. So now I've successfully activated WordPress Bakery. Let's just go ahead and open up a page. This is what a page with WordPress Bakery looks like. So we say that WordPress Bakery is a drag and drop page builder. You can simply click and drag sections around on your page. You can easily duplicate shortcodes. And you can delete ones that you don't need. Over here, if you click on the plus icon, a pop-up window will open and you will see a list of all the shortcodes that are available and that you can add to your page. So I'm going to go ahead and click on one. Most short codes come with a list of options that you can fill out. All right. Now, if you've used WordPress Bakery in the past, if you've used the front end editor, then what you see here might be a bit different than what you're used to working with. And you should know that we disabled the front end editor on purpose. That's because Bridge comes with some short codes that have advanced JavaScript functionality and they will not display properly in the front end editor until you save and refresh the page. So we recommend using the classic mode, the one that you see here. However, if you still want to use the front end editor, then that can be done. And we're going to make a separate video explaining to you how to do that. Now, once you activate WordPress Baker, you're going to see it in the admin panel. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on that. And over here, you will see some settings for the shortcode. So here I am on the general settings tab. And here it says disable Gutenberg editor. I'm going to go ahead and click on disable. Gutenberg is the editor that comes with WordPress, but since you're going to be using WordPress Bakery, you will not be needing Gutenberg. So you can go ahead and disable that and then click on Save Changes. Now let's click on the Role Manager tab. Over here, WordPress Bakery is asking you for what post types you want to use the page builder with. And by default, it says Pages Only. Now, to show you an example, I'm going to click on posts here. And I'm going to open a post. Now here we see just a regular text editor. We do not see WordPress Bakery. And that's because by default, WordPress Bakery is enabled for pages only. So let's go back to the settings. So here in the drop down, I'm going to set custom. And over here, you will see all of the post types that are available on your WordPress site. Now, what you see might be slightly different to what I'm seeing here. Depending on the plugins that you've activated on your site, you might have more custom post types than what I see here. So that's fine. You can just go ahead and select all of the post types that you see and then click on Save Changes. Now I'm going to open the post again. I'm going to refresh the page. And this time we see that WordPress Bakery is now available for posts. All right, so let's go back to settings again. I'm going to click on the product license tab. And here it's asking you to activate the license for WordPress Bakery. Now, WordPress Bakery comes bundled with Bridge. And what that means is that when you purchase Bridge, you will receive a free copy of the plugin. And that plugin will have the same core functionalities as if you purchased a standalone version of the plugin. However, there are some differences between bundled plugins and standalone plugins. 
With bundled plugins, you do not need to activate the license. So you can just ignore this message that's asking you to activate the license for WordPress Bakery. Also, with bundled plugins, you will not have access to automatic updates. So once the plugin author pushes out a new plugin update, you will not be able to update it immediately. However, once new plugin version comes out, we will include it in the next bridge theme update. You can update WordPress Bakery by updating your theme. And every time you update the bridge theme, you will receive the latest versions of all the bundled plugins. All right, so thank you for watching. This video was about setting up WordPress Bakery on your bridge site. If you have any more questions, you can leave them in the comment section. And if you would like to be notified about future videos, you can subscribe to our channel.